Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the Detroit Pistons. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Coach Mike Fratello. On our sideline, David Aldridge. And with the postseason fast approaching, Coach, how much does playoff seeding weigh on a coach's mind? For teams in the middle of the pack, it means a lot. The difference between a six seed and a three seed is enormous. Did you try to match up who you might go against because it was a more favorable matchup? Without question, coaches think about which team someone else open, but you can't stop them one-on-one, -on -one, so maybe you bypass that team and hope you wind up playing another team in that first round. Great explanation. This is why so many love watching Jordan play. Such an explosive dunker. And that one goes long. For Chicago, they've gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Here's Jordan. Falls back and trains the fadeaway jumper. Jordan's got six points. I think Jordan could do this all day long. I mean, they were looking for him. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. Paxson outside. And here's Jordan outside. Looks good, is good. And that one hits back iron. Chicago leading by six. Jordan, the pass to Pippen. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. In a way, Jordan is your point guard. He's the initiator. And it wasn't that close. Well, they got the other side starters into foul trouble. Really took advantage of the substitutes, and that led to a huge disparity on the scoreboard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First smart play that time by Jordan, using the pump, baiting the defender, and he bit. It's his first trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. What separates Jordan from others, in my mind, is his singular focus. Nothing comes between him and the ultimate goal of winning the game. Catching up now on the changes for Chicago. Williams, he's checked in for Cartwright. And Armstrong subbed in for Paxson. Then for the Pistons, Sally, he's checked in for Lambeer. And Sellers subbed in for Aguirre. Now a timeout called by Detroit. That's what he takes, a sign of a skilled offensive player. And they double up Jordan. Pippen with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Pippen's got five points so far. A great game for him in the win against Boston. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Jordan. Plays it up off the glass. 12 points for him. They're trying to grab hold of that momentum right here. Well, that play, that play right there, that'll fire up your teammates. Hey, they're still competing. Here's Trent. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Saw that time on the clock and let that shot fly perfectly. And that is how you end the quarter. Gets it to go, and they are elated at the break. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. It's the Bulls. They lead by 12. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown. Pippen, a screen on Dumas. Jordan kicks to Armstrong. Back to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. For three, Pippen. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Jordan's got four assists in the game. 
And Mike, you look at that. And no good that time. And Chicago will go the other way with it. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Oh, the determination is unmatched. MJ able to embrace contact and finish. And he'll shoot one more. The Bulls. Right now in the game, two marks. Misses off the right iron. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. Here's Armstrong. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Jordan's got assist number five here tonight. When your point guard like Grant. Well, they looked okay with him taking that shot from mid-range, and he didn't do anything to change their mind. Did you see that? Jordan putting on a show, folks. In fact, he does. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Bulls lead by 16. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Really like how he's orchestrated the offense so far in this game. Racking up the assist in a big way. Making it look easy and just dropping dimes all over the defense. He's having fun right now. Hatson with the steal. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Not surprising at all to see Jordan first minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter 14 feet away it's Chicago with another bucket giving up mid-range looks to a shooter like him not going to help you get out of this hole about 20 and a half points a game and stolen by Jordan jumps up and slammed up by Jordan the defensive instincts of MJ kicking in terrific at sensing win there's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Jordan passes to King. Banked in off the glass. And they have not let up. They are still in attack mode despite this. And another great look at the 2K drive. And this is what you love to see. Up big, no letting up. Keep on applying pressure to their defense. Outside Jordan. Finish a quarter strong. Absolutely Woo. making a statement right at the buzzer. I love it. Tremendous buzzer beater. Taking every opportunity as it comes. Michael Jordan getting it done for the bowl. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Bulls leading by 23. And something to consider in the upcoming draft classes, like the possibility of a high school player making the jump right to the NBA. We've seen it before, although it's rare. Not sure how many could make that jump or if it's the right move. A few might try. Let's keep our eyes open in the near future. Winning play there. Saw the opportunity to take a second crack at it. Here's Jordan, and the layup's good off the glass. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. All right, grabs the rebound. All right, he's got six rebounds here tonight. And Jordan gets it to go. Jordan's got 29 in the game. Tremendous strength there from Jordan. Knows he's going to get hacked inside, finishes through it. Coaching changes, Mike, and uh, the most in a few years. What do you think about this trend? Yeah, believe me, I'm very familiar with it. Owners are impatient. They want winners now. So if you don't deliver quick, get that resume refreshed. So how would you approach a job? Uh, win now, or do you want to build, or do you get the assurance? Like, there's so many different factors here. The way you could, as a coach, no go. 
I would say that when you're in a meeting with your owner and general manager and they're telling you how they have great patience and they want to see you build this program, I think you nod your head yes up in the opposite of those guys, but they sometimes have short memories when it gets to the end of the year and the fans are impatient and the media is on you. They make a change rather than remember. Going by Williams. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Jordan, the pass to Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. Playing well on both ends of the floor. Stifling defense. That one is no good. The perfect leader. Isaiah Thomas runs the show at the point, but he also leads the way in the locker room. King sinks that one from the post. They can't miss on an absolute tear. This is a thing of beauty. In the fourth quarter. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Bulls. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Another one falls for Chicago. And you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. They're all... Now Jordan winning in strong fashion. A relentless effort notches a W for the Bulls. Mike, this was a confident win, wasn't it? The, the outcome not in question down the stretch. And about this team, they never stop pushing the envelope. Fantastic year already with 65 wins, and tonight making it 66. Very impressive. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance from Michael Jordan. Great performance from him. Didn't four shots, took what he was given, very poised. Here's to get off a shot here. Three-pointer. A shot by Bedford, no good. Here's Jordan. Offline. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Mike, we expected the game could be a blowout, and, <laughs> and that's exactly what we got. This team is hard enough to beat on the road, but at home, they take it to another level. And that about does it for the final game of the NBA regular season. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.